Hello everyone, I just updated the SNN chat and added tons of new features. So let's ch check some of the main features, okay? To use the extension, first you need to, uh, you guys need to copy past a OpenAI key or OpenRouter key. I recommend OpenRouter because you can use OpenRouter for free. Uh, there are tons of premium models and free models as well. So if you filter like that, you can see all the free models. Just register it for free. But I will use the Gemini Flash Lite. This is a fast model. Free models are slow, guys. I mean, that's the downside, okay? Yes, you can use it for free. But free models are slow, rate limited. You can't use it all the time. Sometimes it doesn't even answer. So it, but paid models are pretty fast, especially this one. And cheap too like 10 cents 10 cents something million token yeah something like that i don't know let's save it and after that you can start using uh let's zoom in a little bit it says like how many character in the page i think i should change this to words anyway uh it's possible to ask questions about the page i can select some of the part like some of the page part of the page or i can just select all of it okay let's let's uh, ask about all of it who is Sinan? Let's ask about the page about Sinan. And then, boom, it answers. Uh, I added new feature. There is now total token count. Before, it was only showing on each chat, but it wasn't showing total uh, usage. Okay. Uh, I think this is very important. So you know how much token you are using. Like, you know, I mean, it, if, if you are using cheap model, it doesn't even matter. But still, okay. It is a little bit useful. Called me a HTML page. Uh, let, let's say <laughs> it didn't even, even ask me what do you what do you want. <laughs> that, that was funny. So oh, it's possible to regenerate it. It's possible to copy it. Okay, it is possible to make it uh, bookmark it. Say this message. I'm I'm gonna advance this feature bookmarking. I think it will be really useful later on. It's possible to listen the answer. Sinan Eastler is a WordPress developer. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, it reads. It, it uses the uh, WebKit audio. Okay. It uses the browser audio, whatever voice you have it. Okay. You can change those settings and stuff on your browser. And it's possible to create a new page, clear the chat, or check the old histories. Okay. You can even search it like that. So it's possible. Uh, or it, it is possible to clear all history and there is another setting on the advance here too you can clear all combined other sites each site has its own history okay so this website will have its own history and if i open another site for example rz this is where i use this extension mostly for example if i open something open something whatever uh, html and this site will have its own history okay so if i check the history i can see it here but if i check it here i'm not gonna see it oh i do see it why did it combine oh it is adding the domain name yeah yeah, yeah. it is adding domain name interesting i was i was grouping this before i i need to check that Anyway, it, is, uh, it, it shows which domain, like each uh, website has its own history, okay? That's very important. It's not combined. And it is possible to restrict settings. It's possible to change it. And yeah, it's possible to change the output maximum token. I think this is very important. Make it like 10,000 or something. At least maybe even 50,000. Why not? But... 10,000 is fine, so don't touch the temperature, uh, 0.7 is good, so uh, it, if you lower it, uh, more focused, like precise, let's say, if it is higher, it is just more random creative answers, okay, so just keep it 7, and it's possible to how much character of the page it can read, we can allow or make it more or less, so it's possible to change the system prompt like if you are researching about something very specific 
and some context and knowledge it, it needs to know about your topics or about you so you can add your system prompt the good thing about this extension actually that's why specifically i made it for api only of course i could have just install a really cheap model somewhere and run on top of that and may make this free or like premium like like let's say hundred thousand token free and after that if you want to use it pay me something okay of course i could i could have done that it's so easy but the thing is that the moment i do that your privacy is gone okay so that's why api models are more uh, private i mean they are private by nature if for example google breaches that privacy they will pay like billions of billions of dollars because they breach the privacy like they always do <laughs> on us or <laughs> europe <laughs> i mean that's why i i prefer like this kind of like provider api provider setup because most of the apis has to be by law has to be private okay keep it in mind so it's possible to disable some features uh, i need to go back on this maybe make it a little bit better appearance yeah it's possible to make the sidebar wider uh, actually it looks nice when you want to focus on the the sidebar only or mostly and then it's possible to make the font size bigger light mode dark mode uh, export all chats clear all chats maybe i should add import too i, I don't know tell me about it that's it this is the extension and i use it a lot i use it for coding i use it for prototyping i, I use it for understanding uh, academic papers because some of them like insanely complicated but ai helps a lot yeah that's it thank you for using oh by the way if you ever want to um, give a suggestion like feature request or something just come here or bug reports especially bug report come here okay don't write on review if you do it i will hunt you anyway See you guys. Bye.